Mateusz Cunha speaks out amid Man United transfer rumours. Ahead of the summer transfer window, Manchester United's pursuit of Mateusz Cunha has been dealt a hammer blow. Manchester United have recently been linked with Wolves' Mateusz Cunha. Brazilian forward has snubbed a move to Old Trafford, insisting he's happy at Molino. Red Devils eyeing Milos Kerkes as a potential option at left-back, Manchester United have suffered a hammer blow in their pursuit of Wolverhampton Wanderers ace Mateus Cunha after the 11-cap Brazil international publicly revealed that he is happy at Molino and is looking forward to bettering the club in seasons to come. In 32 Premier League outings across the 2023-24 season, João Pessoa born Cunha registered a career-best tally of 12 goals and 7 assists, proving his importance in the Midlands. With Eric Ten Hag's side struggling for goals in recent times, the arrival of the versatile forward could boost their efforts in front of goal. With Anthony Marshall leaving this summer and Rasmus Hodgland shouldering the majority of the goal-scoring burden, Sir Jim Ratcliffe and co are keen to acquire attacking reinforcements ahead of an all-important season in 2024-25, with Cunha among the potential targets. Man United dealt hammer blow by Cunha. I'm very happy at Wolves according to the Mirror. Manchester United were eyeing a move for the Wolves man as support for lone striker Hodgland on the back of Marshall's summer exit. In their first summer in M16, a fresh centre-forward is undoubtedly at the top of the club's priority list. The report suggested that he, hailed as one of the most pivotal members of the Wolves squad, was targeted by the Manchester-based side ahead of the summer transfer window and would cost around the £60 million mark recently. The United stand presenter Mark Goldbridge suggested that he would happily take the 25-year-old at Old Trafford, especially after French forward Marshall announced his departure after nine years and 317 games of service. However, speaking to Globo, via Team Talk, during the off-season, Cunha, hailed as a phenomenal by colleague Max Kilman, has played down the rumours, all while suggesting that his focus remains on Wolves and improving on their progress witnessed under Gary O'Neill's stewardship. Whenever I can, I come to follow you. I always want to demonstrate that, affection, is reciprocal. Then we see this rush, Manchester United, but I'm very happy at Wolves. My focus is on resting and making the most of it with my family. I'm very happy at Wolves. The focus now is to have better seasons and help the club. Man United eyeing Milos Kerkes. Face stern competition for £35 million Premier League star. Not only are the club looking to bolster their attacking roster, but their paucity of left-back options in the season that has just ended means that Bournemouth's Milos Kerkes is of high interest to Ratcliffe and his entourage this summer. At 19 years of age, the Hungary international signed for the side from the south coast joined from AZ Orkma for a fee in the ballpark of £15.5 million. In his first season at the Cherries, Kerkes played 28 times, helping them to a respectable 12th-placed finish. Despite having Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia at their disposal, the club, according to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, appreciate the youngster ahead of the summer transfer window. Ben Jacobs, writing for GMS, suggested that the Cherries value him at £35 million. Romano insists that his current employers, thanks to the defensive technician's importance to the squad, would demand big big money for him, while Manchester United also have Real Madrid-linked Alfonso Davies on their radar too, exclusive, Man United turn their attentions to, very good, player that Fabrizio Romano says will cost, big, big money. It's a hugely important summer for Man United, not least because they need to decide on who will manage their first team next season as well as buying the players that are going to bring the glory days back to Old Trafford. A disappointing 2023-24 campaign has seen Eric Ten Hag's position hanging by a thread, though the lack of updates regarding the Dutchman's future at the club would point to Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the board perhaps giving him a stay of execution. Certainly, Ten Hag has always maintained that the incredible amount of injuries that crippled his team throughout the season was a good enough reason why no one saw the best of the Red Devils, particularly when compared to the previous season. Man United looking at Milos Kerkes. Defensively United rarely had a settled back four for precisely that reason, with left-back, Luke Shaw, one of those to miss significant portions of the campaign. That might be one of the reasons why United are apparently looking at the left-back position. I wanted to mention Milos Kerkes, a very good talent and one of the most interesting left-backs around Europe, 
doing very well after a fantastic season, making a great impact in the Premier League with Bournemouth, Fabrizio Romano said to court offside for his exclusive daily briefing, we already said in February, in March, that Man United were looking at left backs, and Milos Kerkes is one of the players they appreciate for that position. He's not the only one, but is one of the options they are discussing internally and could be a solution for the summer transfer window. Also, Chelsea have scouted him, but at the moment there's no direct contact. Let me say that Bournemouth would ask for big, big money. They consider him a top player so it's not going to be an easy deal. As transfer expert, Romano, states, any deal certainly won't be an easy one to get across the line, however, Sir Jim arguably needs to spend big to make a real statement this summer. Spending for spending's sake clearly isn't the way to go about things either, however, if there is talent potentially available that will improve the squad, then United have to be in the conversation. Joining the Old Trafford outfit and playing for one of the world's most storied clubs has to be seen as a privilege once more, Man United linked with £119 million sporting duo Inosio and Hulmond. Manchester United could turn to sporting CP duo as they look to strengthen their squad this summer. Manchester United are keen on sporting CP defender Goncalo Inosio this summer. The club could eye a double swoop as midfielder Morton Holmond is also of interest. United have been handed a boost in their pursuit of Inosio as a key rival pulls out of the race. Manchester United are eyeing a double swoop for sporting CP stars Goncalo Inosio and Morton Holmond, according to reports in Portugal. United had a mixed 2023-24 campaign having secured their 13th FA Cup trophy in their rich history, but their Premier League finish was far less desirable. Eric Ten Hag's side finished 8th in the standings and their spot in next season's Europa League was only obtained due to their domestic cup triumph. Regardless of the man in charge, as the Manchester club weigh up a managerial change, this summer presents a huge opportunity for changes in the playing squad. Next term, they will hope to close the gap to the top four, as well as progress deep in cup competitions. Man United I double swoop for sporting CP duo. The pair would likely command significant fees according to Portuguese outlet O Jogo. Defender Goncalo Inosio is not the only sporting CP star United are targeting this summer. The article claims the Premier League outfit believe midfielder Morton Holmond would be a smart addition in the upcoming transfer window but they will be required to pay a release clause of €80 million, Euros, £68 million. Hulmond was only signed by Sporting from Serie A side US Lex for a nominal €18 million, Euros, £15 million, in August last year. The 24-year-old has had an exceptional campaign, helping the club to their 20th league title manager Ruben Amarim has previously branded the Danish international as one of the most complete midfielders he's worked with and the club will not part ways with Hulmond easily. He is currently under contract until 2028 and is already part of Sporting's leadership group under the current manager. United handed in Osio, boost. They are unlikely to face competition for his signature United's pursuit of Inosio was handed a significant boost this week, following reports Liverpool are no longer actively considering a move for the player. The Merseyside club had been linked with the player, who is thought to have a 60 million euros, 51 million pounds, release clause in his contract last summer and rumours only intensified when Amarim was named among the potential candidates to replace Jurgen Klopp at Anfield. According to Liverpool-based journalist David Lynch, the club are not considering a move for the 22-year-old defender in the upcoming transfer window, potentially giving United a free run at the player. The report states Inosio does not feature on Liverpool's shortlist for potential centre-back options and it is not yet clear whether new head coach on slot will target defensive reinforcements this summer, United, however, are expected to be in the market for a central defender following the departure of Rafael Varane and ongoing injury concerns for Lisandro Martinez. Johnny Evans, however, is believed to be in talks with the club over a possible contract extension. Man United fail in Chelsea transfer hijack as new in Eros reality laid bare amid Ten Hag review. Manchester United will be preparing for their first transfer window under the co-ownership of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his in Eros group this summer Manchester United have failed in a last-minute effort to hijack Dosin Adarabio's transfer to Chelsea, it is claimed. The Fulham centre-back will become a free agent when his contract at the West London club expires on June 30th. Adarabio is set to become Enzo Moresca's first signing at Stamford Bridge after reported interest from both United and Newcastle. 
United are looking to sign two new centre-backs this summer ahead of Rafael Varane's departure. And the Daily Mail have claimed that the Red Devils offered a last-minute, concrete proposal over the weekend, but the 26-year-old is set to complete a move to Chelsea instead, whilst it would be easy to assume United's ongoing review of the 2023-24 season and manager Eric Ten Hag's position has slowed down any potential transfer business, that shouldn't be the case. Ineo's new structure of football operations at Old Trafford includes Jason Wilcox as technical director and Jean-Claude Blanc as acting CEO until Omar Barada's arrival from gardening level in mid-July. Dan Ashworth is also expected to join as director of football with United currently negotiating with Newcastle over a compensation package. United's approach to the summer transfer window will have radically changed from previous years. The new structure will mean that decisions on any potential new signings will not be affected by who the manager is. Whether Ten Hag remains at the club or a replacement is appointed, the manager's influence will no longer be crucial regarding who is signed by the club. It is an issue for which many have previously criticised Ten Hag, with players such as Anthony and Andre Onana heavily recommended by United's Dutch manager having previously worked with them at Ajax. Adarabio may have preferred a move to Chelsea this summer, but there is also a chance that the United hierarchy did not deem him good enough for their rebuild of the club's first-team squad. The club are likely to have already set eyes on who they will target in central defence this summer with the window opening on June 14. And whether Ten Hag stays or goes, those plans won't change.